Alright guys, today I'm gonna show how to use projection shader in Click Team Fusion 2.5, but before, I'm gonna show how to fix the problem, that when you click on a object and just do nothing, it's very annoying I know, but I have the solution of this. Instead of making the user clicks on a object condition, you need to use the player 1 conditions, the symbol of a controller, go to joystick, after, read joystick state, deselect the up arrow and select fire button 1. After, make another condition on the same line of the object of the mouse, and make them when, collide with another object, for some reason, when you get the mouse controlled movement. The click team just swap the mouse click to the joystick buttons, that's why you can't click, and don't forget to get the object you want to get clicked on the same layer of the mouse. If you did everything fine, it should be working. Now, let's go to the projection shader. Create a new active, and in the effect tab, select the projection shader and deselect the follow the frame in the runtime options, and change the size of the active to have the same size of the window of the game, in my case, 1280, 720. Now let's explain how to use the effect. FOV, this is the image zoom, in this case we are using FNAC R office, the higher the value, the less zoom it will have, the lower the value, the more zoom it will have. Latitude, this is what will make an image stretch top and bottom, in a nutshell, vertical, the higher the value, the more stretched it will be, the lower the value, the less stretched it will be. And for final, longitude, this is what makes the image stretch on the sides, left and right, in a nutshell, horizontal, the larger the value, the more stretched it will be, the smaller the value, the less stretched it will be, same thing with the latitude, and you can keep changing the values, to have a good perspective, but this effect have your problems, you can't do a full 360 degrees, because this effect looks like the old perspective we used for a long time but it works better with this type of scenarios. Also you can use this effect in normal office, instead of the old perspective. And that's how to use projection shader, hope I helped you guys. And have a nice day.